You have just reached your destination. My final bar. My final bar. My final bar. My final bar. Something about the album called The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Try to say that title fast when you're drunk. Okay, that album was released in June 1972 by legendary David Bowie. It's sort of concept album telling a story of a fictional rock star, Ziggy Stardust, which was Bowie's under ego. The character itself may have been pretty short lived, but otherwise it was something else, larger than life, perhaps. No matter what people thought or said about this album and or Ziggy character back then, this is a seminal work by Bowie. And oh man, what a great album this is. So the album has 11 tracks. And those tracks are Five Years, Soul Love, Moonlight, Daydream, Starman, Yeah, Easy, Lady Stardust, Star, Hang On To Yourself, Ziggy Stardust, Suffrage City and rock and roll suicide. All songs written and composed by David Bowie, except it ain't easy, written by Ron Davis. In my opinion, that song is the weakest link of the album, but that was the first song recorded for the album, so I guess that's why it's there. The personnel on this album is legendary lineup, including David Bowie, Mick Ronson, Trevor Boulder and Mick Woodmancy. And interesting detail is that Rick Wakeman plays the harpsichord on it ain't easy. Album is produced by David Bowie and Ken Scott and arrangements are by David Bowie and Nick Ronson. And those were the essential facts about that album and of course there would be all kind of other facts and stories about that album and so on but to keep this video pretty short and sweet I have to draw the line at something and now I'm gonna show you this legendary album in three different formats and the first format of course is the vinyl version. And yes, this is the original UK pressing. I bought this from London in 1991 when I was there on a holiday with my then best friend. Of course, can't remember the name of the shop. What a surprise! But I think I paid something like 
seven pounds for this, which wasn't bad at all. Almost cheap, I would say. The album has single jacket sleeve, and then there's proper inner sleeve. Here's the label. That's orange RCA Victor label. And this is still in as good condition as I can hope. After all, this is over 40 years old. But the best part is this. The previous owner must have left these behind, so to speak. When we went back to our hotel room after the hard day of shopping to check out our findings, I found these inside the record sleeve. Three old David Bowie posters in immaculate condition. Check this out. This even has a date, August the 12th, 1972. And this one is from a magazine called Sounds. Yes, second poster. This is disc portrait gallery series. And here behind the poster, you can see next week, Noddy Holder. And the third one. Is also from disc. This is Action Gallery series. And behind the poster is next week Alice Cooper. So these posters were really cool. So, that's my vinyl copy of this album. And then comes the C CD version. But first, I have a question. Does anybody else than me remember these so-called long boxes, which were in widespread use? in the 80s and early 90s in North America. Now I'm gonna quote Wikipedia. According to Wikipedia, when compact discs first become to appear in the retail stores, the long box packaging served a transitional purpose allowing shops to file new compact discs in the same bins originally used for vinyl records. Well, my copy of Ziggy CD still has it left, probably because I bought this when this was a new release. Back in 1990, a company called Ryko Disc released all 16 of the original Bowie albums as part of launch of its David Bowie catalog, the Sound and Vision series. 
so this is one of those and because this has a one box cover this is a USA press so this is a limited edition it has a deluxe package 72 page booklet including rare photographs and extensive liner notes and CD features five bonus tracks and this is digitally remastered Dancing, previously unreleased mix, Velvet Gold Mine, Single B Side, Sweethead, previously unreleased track, Ziggy Stardust, previously unreleased original demo, and Lady Stardust, also previously unreleased original demo. And those two demos are excellent. On the guitar, just always sings and plays the guitar. And on Lady Star, just always sings and plays the piano. So in 1990, this kind of CD cost 129 Finnish marks, which is equivalent to about 44 US dollars today and that's pretty much it about this release and then comes the third format and it is super audio CD version now this much to say about this except that this is released in 2003 European Union pressing and this has both stereo and multi-channel 5.1 surround sound mixes booklet is okay it has lyrics and pictures, no written legends, so to speak. Um, personally, I like this multi channel mixes. They kind of add a new dimension into the music when done properly. What do you think? So, this was my little Ziggy Stardust special. And by the way, Ziggy is my second favorite Bowie album, right after Hungry Dory. So, did you like this video? Hope so. I'd 
like to hear your comments about these and those releases that I just showed you. Any questions? I'm ready. And if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. There's still room left at my vinyl bar. Thanks for watching and careful with that needle as well as laser beam which reads the CD and Super Aurea CD.